Jesse Wright is suing the defendant for bodily injury and simple battery. He states he and a few of his friends were hanging out at a local sports bar when the defendant walked in and ordered a drink. As the defendant walks to his table, Jesse noticed some aggressive conversation between the defendant and a young lady. Then, all of a sudden, the young lady snatched her arm away from the defendant and he grabs her arm again. After seeing the young lady struggle to get away from the defendant, Jesse says he stepped in to be a good Samaritan, only to be punched in the face and spit on by the defendant. He's suing the defendant for payment of $785 for his medical bills. Defendant James Garcia states he was minding his own business trying to order a drink at a local sports bar when the plaintiff Jesse got into his face talking smack. Says he was approached disrespectfully and stood his ground as a man. He claims the plaintiff only came over to try to impress the lady he was talking to. James states that he demanded that the plaintiff get out of his face, but the plaintiff wanted to be Mr. Macho Man. That's when Jesse and his posse jumped him. James is countersuing for harassment and aggravated battery. He says during the scuffle, he was cut by a sharp object which required stitches. The total amount being pursued is $1,745. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Wright, Mr. Garcia. We're here in mediation. Uh, Mr. Wright, you brought this claim. Let's start with you. Yes, ma'am. Thank you very much. First of all, I just want to say I want to go ahead and pre-apologize uh, for having to bother you with all of this nonsense here today. He, he should be apologizing, ma'am. Uh, and it started. You know, it's not even two wait. seconds into it. You see what I was dealing with the night There's the no need to apologize. Let's just get the show on the road. Uh, Mr. Wright, you can start. Don't yes, apologize. Let's, let's go. Yeah, well, just hurry it was up. a... Thank you. Mr. Garcia. Yes, ma'am. Uh, just. Yes, ma'am. Let, let him start. Well, Miss, Miss Scott, it was a Friday night. Some of my friends hit me up, wanted me to go to one of the local sports bars to watch the game. On a side note, ma'am, some of his friends hit me Mr. up, Garcia, too. Mr. Garcia, do you See, want to exactly. Just a minute, just a minute. Now, Mr. Garcia, yes, you agree to this mediation. Yes, ma'am. And you're here on your own? Yes, ma'am. We will. Yes, ma'am. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. Now, I don't need any more of your interruption. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, as Go I said, on. it was a Friday night. My friends called me up, wanted me to meet, meet them at one of the local bars to watch the game, have a couple of beers, and just kind of enjoy the night out. Everything was going absolutely perfect up until the point that he walks through the door. And what happened? Uh, it, 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 it was just right off the bat, he comes through the door, and I really wasn't paying that close attention to him, but he kind of stood out. He comes in like he was scoping out the place, like oh he was just looking God. for trouble. Yeah. I mean, he, it was just, I don't know how else to describe it other than he, he wasn't very inviting. That's, that's definitely for sure. Definitely wouldn't act friendly when he walks through the door. You were all both at the bar, and so you had been there for I just minute. got there. I, I had to meet my friends at 8 o'clock, and I'd been there maybe five, ten minutes, my, my order just came out, my drink just came out, and uh, like I said, that's when he came through the door. So you hadn't had an opportunity to have any drinks? You I had just started. You just started drinking? I had just started, and, yes ma'am. And let me ask you, Mr. Wright, what were you drinking? Um, I had a light beer. <laughs> and so what happened at the bar that night, Mr. Wright? Well, like I said, I really wasn't paying that close of attention to him, but when I looked up, he walks over to the table where a young lady was sitting. And immediately he grabs her by the arm. She jerks away like, dude, don't touch me. And, you know, I, I'm thinking, okay, they're having a little boyfriend, girlfriend moment, you know, and I just kind of put my head down, shook it, went back to talking to my friends. Well, let's go back. Now, you, you said that he, he came into the bar. Yes, ma'am. he was angry? Uh, he, he appeared to be angry? He appeared to be angry. Yes, ma'am. Okay. <laughs> and so what did he do when he first walked in? He walked in. I mean, he had a pissed off, excuse me, but he had a pissed off look on his face. His yes, arms excuse were me, out. Mr. Wright. We, I'd like for you to control your language, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. He had an angry look on his face. His arms are bowed out. He's eyeballing everybody in the bar like he's just daring somebody to come up to him and say something. So, just I, so I picked Hulk Hogan here to pick a fight with, I guess. Is that what you're saying? 
No, okay, I'm so you saying see him. you don't know how to conduct yourself in public. Did, did he approach you in any kind of way? No, ma'am. He, he did not approach me. He did not approach me. He goes over to the table where the young lady was sitting, and immediately he grabs her by the wrist. He was mad. You could tell he was mad. She jerks away at that point. It sounds like this may be a little domestic violence or something. Is this case really about a gentleman coming to the rescue or perhaps a gentleman having too many beers before he rescues? Find out next when Cajun Court TV resumes. Hello, I'm Dr. Ben Beach, a dentist at Shreveport Bossier Family Dental Care. Our 10 doctors and professional staff take pride in making patient comfort a number one priority in our office. We have three convenient locations in South Shreveport, North Shreveport, and Bossier City. If you have tooth pain or broken tooth, don't worry, just call us because we see dental emergencies the same day. We also offer the latest sedation techniques to help eliminate any fear you may have about dental treatment. So call us today at 686-7470. That's 686-7470. What separates Mattress Plus from the competition? Superior customer service. You're going to find the friendly cu customer service. Um, expect to get the best quality of product in town. You're going to also have the pricing, which is most affordable in anywhere that I've gone. I mean, where else are you going to find all that wrapped up in a package with a bit of beautiful bow on it? Thanks to the support of our over 200,000 customers, the Mattress Plus family has grown. Always shop at Mattress Plus before you buy. Your tax-deductible donation helps Habitat for Humanity of Northwest Louisiana continue to build hope and nail dreams. We could not do it without you. Contact us today at 318-868-8040. Who's the aggressor in this case, the plaintiff or defendant? Listen closely. Cajun Court TV resumes. It sounds like this may be a little domestic violence or something. Exactly did, what I'm did thinking. He, did he know the, the, the lady? It appeared that they, had, that, they, that they knew each other because when he walked in and he walked up to her, she just kind of like, oh, mm -hmm. you know, kind of did the head motion and like that I and rolled her eyes. You, you don't know I have Mr. no clue Garcia. who this guy is. Okay. This is my okay. second time to see him. He sure was interested in me, though, if you know all uh, that. Mr. Garcia, you need to be quiet. You're yes, already sounding like just, guilty. You're already just, sounding like guilty. Yes, ma'am. I'm seeing this aggressive behavior. Man, so he, I, 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 he had no clue what was going on. I know so what exactly what was going on. You were grabbing at the young lady's wrist. You had grabbed her. She tried to get away, and then you grabbed her again. When I turn back around, I, I go to talk to my friends after he grabbed her the first time. And I'm thinking, like I said, it's just a little boyfriend-girlfriend type deal. I turn back around. This time, he is holding her by both arms. You could tell he was putting pressure she, on her. Uh, well, I assume, did she look frightened? Oh, she looked terrified. <laughs> Absolutely terrified. And she's struggling, trying to get free. He wouldn't let go of her, and he was mad. You could tell he was mad from and the so facial expression. So you decided you maybe be that good Samaritan? I didn't have any choice. I thought he was about to hit her. Oh, my God. Ma'am. And he was being that aggressive. Yes, ma'am. It was obvious to me that he was bullying this young lady. Mm. No doubt in my mind whatsoever. And so you became the concerned citizen. That, yes, ma'am. Well, let me ask Somebody you this. Somebody had to. Were there any security guards, anybody around? Ms. Scott, I noticed one of, one of the security guys. I've been to this bar before, and I know they have security. I saw one when I first got there, but he was out in the parking lot. I didn't see him inside. And so when Mr. Uh, Garcia came in, he was directing some attention toward the, the lady. And so you were looking, and anybody else uh, see my friends, My friends that were with me. Uh, all the, the bartender, ones, he, know, he was busy. We were around. actually sitting. We were sitting at the bar, and it has you know it has a bar on this side in the restaurant over here on the other. It just has you know some tables, uh, but we were sitting at the bar. The bartender was busy. The security was nowhere inside. Apparently, he was still out there. I had three friends with me that saw the entire thing. Matter of fact, they're the ones that even pointed it out before. Well, let me I ask even you said something. Anything. Was the lady with Mr. Garcia? Was she alone? Or was she, she was alone. She was already sitting at a table when he walks through the door. And no one was sitting Nobody was sitting him. with her. Like I say, ma'am, he hasn't got a clue. Oh, uh, just a minute. But I know what I saw. <laughs> now, you went over to assist the lady? I simply walked over there. I didn't, you know, I had no intentions of getting involved in anything physical. I just simply walked over there, and, you know, because I saw her struggling, I thought he was about to hit her. So I walked over there, and I, I politely, very politely asked him to let her go. Well, now, let me ask you something. You thought that he was about to hit her. Did he hit her? He didn't hit her. He had her by the arms, not by the wrist at that point. I mean, he had her by the arms, and he is digging. You can tell. See how my hands are right there, and it's shaking? That's exactly how he was. And he had her. He was holding on hard, and she had the look on her face like she's in pain. But nobody was doing anything about it. Everybody was scared to go over 
I mean, he comes walking in like he's out of a machete movie or something. And, and so what did you do? At that point, again, I asked him very politely. I said, let her go. And it, as soon as I said that, he jumps up from the table. This chair goes flying back. He knocks a glass off the table. He gets right up in my face, and he is about this far from me. He's poking me in the chest, and he's yelling, and he's cussing at me. And the whole time that he is doing this, he is so close that he's spitting in my face. At that point, I couldn't take it anymore. I said, dude, I said, you need to back up. I no sooner gets, get that out of my mouth, and he hits me square in the face. Man, I'm getting sprayed over here. I don't know what he's talking about. And I believe the question uh, was directed Garcia. at me. Yes, sir. Uh, what happened after that? You all got into a fight? We, at that point, it was self-defense. No, ma'am. I, I did not jumped. want to fight. I got jumped. Okay. I did not want to fight. Is the plaintiff truly a good Samaritan, or was he trying to be a macho man in front of his posse? Stay with us. More to come after the break. Still think a community and technical college education is second rate? Let's get real. Hundreds of millions of dollars are being invested in our state community technical college system. Classrooms, technology, all the tools needed to make this education as real as it gets. Real jobs paying real money are waiting at Northwest Louisiana Technical College. Visit nwltc.edu for more. Ernest Orleans has been creating special nights for over 60 years. Come celebrate your special occasion with delicious prime steaks, fresh seafood, plus Ernest's signature marinated crab claws. Visit Ernest Orleans, 1601 Spring Street in Shreveport. Your tax-deductible donation helps Habitat for Humanity of Northwest Louisiana continue to build hope and nail dreams. We could not do it without you. Contact us today at 318-868-8040. Would you like free tickets to be in our audience? Call Cajun Court TV at 1-855-902-5297 or go online to CajunCourtTV.com. What do these people have in common? They've given up. Given up their negative perceptions. Given up their destructive behaviors. Given up all those things that were holding them back. When you're ready to start living a healthy, empowered life, Dr. Beatrice Tatum is here. So many people have benefited from Dr. Tatum's expertise. Take the first step to bring wellness into your life. Uncover your true potential and lead a life worth celebrating. It's never too late. Did the defendant swing the first punch and spit on the plaintiff? Let's find out when Cajun Court TV resumes. What happened after you all got into a fight? We, at that point, it was self-defense. No, ma'am. I, I did not jumped. want to fight. I got jumped. Okay. I did not want to fight. At that point, it's self-defense. A couple of blows were exchanged. My friends came and broke it up. Look, I don't know this guy. Did you hit him or he hit No, you? he hits me first. He hits me first in the face. At that point, it just my initial reaction was to defend myself. And I hit him back. Like so it was only probably about. Well, tell me, well, who who broke up this fight? Was my my friends who were sitting just right behind me at that point? Because when I walked over to the table, and then he got up and slung the chair back, they they all walked up. And so you basically intervened to help the woman. Absolutely, yes, ma'am. That was my only intention was to verbally ask him to let go. And I think you know most people, you know, when you point out their behavior, you would think, okay, you know, yeah, I just got called out in front of everybody. You know, maybe they kind of got. Uh, caught up in the moment mm -hmm. and, and, I, and I figured okay the guy would you know let her go and everything would be fine but no he he hits me and so you're suing uh you want to go to court yes, for um uh, medical bills and yes yes ma'am and and tell me about that i had bruised ribs and i had swelling around my eye do you have any medical expenses yes ma'am i sure do mag may i see those please <clears throat> okay Mr. Garcia, let's hear your side of the story. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Let's get to the truth here and let's start over from the beginning. No, we're not starting over. We're not starting over. I would just want to hear what you, what you have to say. I walked into this bar. I'd just gotten off work. I walk in. I see my ex-girlfriend in there. I approached her because she had some of my property that she never returned back to me when she moved out. One of the items she was wearing was a bracelet of mine. And I was confronting her about the bracelet. She had a date with her, and so the only reason she was wearing the bracelet was to flaunt it off and show it off to him and this and uh, that. Uh, let's go she, back. She, whoa, she, whoa, whoa. She, she didn't have, a, she didn't have uh, a date with him. Mr. Wright. Mr. Wright. Sorry. You don't need to intervene right now. So yes. sorry. You've already had your, you, you, we don't need you to intervene. Sorry. Continue. 
So we got into a discussion about the bracelet, and I, and I took her hand, and I shook it, and I said, look, it doesn't even fit you. So it's falling off. I said, yeah, just give it back to me. You don't need it. You, you're just showing off with it. And that's when Captain Caveman here came over, pounding his chest. Macho man Randy Savage uh, thought he was at WrestleMania or something and starts getting in my face, not knowing what's going on. And I told him to back off. He didn't know what was going on. So he gets all violent and pushes me back, saying something about I don't know what, because he was slurring, speech was slurred, couldn't understand him. Mr. Scott, may I, may then, I please? Uh, Mr. Have... Wright, Mr. Wright, now you've had your chance. Let him finish. And, of course, he's got his posse with him, so they all jump in on me, too. Going to take advantage of me. So, naturally, I had to defend myself. And that's when everything got started. Everything got knocked over and stuff. And then somewhere in the middle there, one of his posse, or even him, I don't know, pulled out a shank or blade or something and cut me. This is the case of He Said, He Said. Will the medical bills help determine the truth? Justice Jackie speaks on it when we come back. Baby, what's the best way to the hospital? It's coming. What do you mean it's coming? I'm pushing, but it's too slow. No, ah! ah! oh, baby, breathe. Ooh. At times like these, you shouldn't go slow. You should be fast. With Metro's Lightning Fast Nationwide 4G LTE network. With unlimited data, talk, and text, $40, period. Twins. No surprises. Even taxes and fees are included. $40, period. What separates Mattress Plus from the competition? Superior customer service. You're going to find the friendly cu customer service. Um, expect to get the best quality of product in town. You're going to also have the pricing, which is most affordable in anywhere that I've gone. I mean, where else are you going to find all that wrapped up in a package with a bit of beautiful bow on it? Thanks to the support of our over 200,000 customers, the Mattress Plus family has grown. Always shop at Mattress Plus before you buy. Hi, I'm Justice Jackie. Thank you for tuning in to Cajun Court TV. I'd like to mediate your case. Call us 1-855-902-5297 or go to our website, CajunCourtTV.com. Who's telling the truth, the plaintiff or the defendant? Log on to our Facebook page and let us know what you think. And that's when everything got started, everything got knocked over stuff and then somewhere in the middle there one of his posse or even him i don't know pulled out a shank or blade or something and cut me dude that was when you fell on the glass that you broke oh, in Wright, the bar Wright, no you broke the glass and that's when you mr. fell on mr. it mr. Wright, no, i never mr. fell that's right now mr garcia yes ma were you being aggressive toward this woman no ma'am mr Wright said you you, you no. grabbed her Ma'am, if I was aggressive to her, I, I'm sure she'd be here or have some kind of charges against me, too. She's terrified it's of not. you. <laughs> this is obvious. You should be terrified well, of me. You, you don't have your you, boyfriend you, with you see, here. Do you see? That's exactly Ms. what I was Ms. dealing Mr. with that Garcia, night. Had, had you been drinking? No, ma'am. I had just walked in. I had just ordered a first drink. Oh. I never even got it because uh, Superman here jumped in the way and knocked everything over. Uh, no telling how long he had been there. And, and, and then it's, it, it, he sees me, he pinpoints me walking into a club, into a restaurant out of everyone else in there. Why, what, because I look like a bad guy or something or, you know. Had nothing to do with it, Miss Scott. He's saying that he wasn't drunk when he came in. It's he not was your spitting. turn, Mr. Wright. It's not your turn. Now, you say, you, Mr. Garcia, you've been dating this lady and you wanted the bracelet back. Yes, ma'am. And had you given her the bracelet? No, ma'am, it was mine. She just always thought it was fun to wear it because it was real goldy and shiny and so stuff. So were you and jealous of something? I mean, oh, why of course were you trying not. To... No, ma'am. We've already been separated for a little while, but we've had the problem about getting some of our stuff back and forth. How did you just happen to go to the bar where your ex-girlfriend was? It's a bar right down the street from my job. I get off, go there often. So they got a good happy hour. Good, I believe good you specials. knew she was there. Now, you know, one of the things that I can't, I, I don't understand. I, I really can't tell who started this fight. But he, he did. I, 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 I can't tell. He did. He walked through the bar like I said. He was looking for trouble right from the start. He goes over and he immediately starts accosting the young lady. Ma'am, I think he, he watched me walk into the bar from the door, watched me all the way go to a table. I mean, uh, Mr. Wright, you, you walked in with the attitude. 
Mr. Wright, were you How trying to know prove how macho you were? Not, ma'am. No, ma'am. And, and no, ma'am. Try, I don't, I don't, that's an attitude right hard. there, ma'am. That's an attitude uh, right there. You know, that's I'm a the 40-something-year-old man. That? I, don't, I don't want to go get into to, to somebody else's argument. I could care less. But you did. Why did you take the opportunity to get the security? Because he had his posse, his group of guys were there. Will you please be quiet and let her speak? Mr. Garcia. Yes, ma'am. I want to say one more thing to you. Mr. Wright. Yes, ma'am. Do you have any pictures of... of oh, no. No, but I would like to say one thing, if you don't mind. Okay, he, I'll let... I'll okay, let. he is sitting here telling me that he wasn't drunk when he came, you know, when, when he was in there. He hadn't even had a chance to drink anything. Yeah, he didn't have a chance to drink anything. But when he was spitting in my face, I guarantee <laughs> it, he could have blew a 2-8. There is no way that he was sober when he walked through the bar. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's spitting beer in my face. If there had been a flame around, I'd been on fire. <laughs> I wish there was a flame around. Now, and you, again, you're, see? You're, you're, he now was you're, the only one flaming that night the way he was watching me, ma'am. That's Mr. Wright, uh, your medical bills was seven eighty nine. Yes, ma'am. And I'm already in a whole lot of debt, and I, I really don't think that I should have to be responsible for paying this just because he's not house trained and he doesn't know how to act in public. Mr. Garcia, how much were your medical bills? I, I noticed that you... Yes, ma'am. My Mine are... Uh, a thousand and seven hundred forty-five dollars, to be exact. Uh, uh, Mac, <laughs> let me see those, please. And you stated that you. you and there's were. also a couple of photos in there too. Um, like, yes, you, ma'am. Man. His his gang brutally uh, jumped me and nobody uh, else ever touched you. Slashed me and uh, I hit you twice. Caused, you hit me twice. Pain. Oh, see now. Just, I a, just kept a minute. Count. Just a minute. I can't help it if you your have vet charges that much to treat <laughs> you. You have about seventeen hundred dollars in. Can't help it if you got violent boyfriends. Insult after insult continues. Is Justice Jackie fed up with this mediation? Stay tuned with Cajun Court TV. Caring for people, that is the commitment and goal of Assurance Care Services, Inc., a place that provides assistance to individuals who are physically, mentally, emotionally, socially, and medically challenged. Assurance Care Services, Inc. offers a variety of services for all ages, where you can find a program that will fit your situation. Everyone will receive quality service in a supported, individualized, comprehensive, and efficient manner. Assurance Care Services, Inc. We are in the business of caring for people. Call today for a free consultation, 631-7583. Would you like free tickets to be in our audience? Call Cajun Court TV at 1-855-902-5297 or go online to CajunCourtTV.com. Now that you're not feeling your best, don't be a victim twice. Nobody's helped more people in accidents in the last decade than Dr. Grady Stimmitz. Call him today, 429-9494. Silver Star Smokehouse and Steaks, 1201 Dixie Overland Road, Bossier City, a great and famous place to eat. Now, Mr. Garcia, yes, you agree to this mediation? Yes, ma'am. And you're here on your own? Yes, ma'am. We will. Yes, ma'am. Will the defendant and plaintiff magically disappear in this mediation, or does Justice Jackie have to throw them out? Uh-oh, we're back in session with Cajun Court TV. I tell you what, do you all want to continue this mediation? Yes, ma'am. You're acting like you're in the bar right now. He can't control well, himself. Well, this, this is mediation. I mean, he's throwing yeah. insults If back he had a drink, he'd be real he happy right me. now, ma'am. You know, it seems like neither one of you all can be controlled. Neither one. Now, you both have signed paperwork to come to mediation. What am I here for? Do you want to continue? I do, as long as we can control him. We don't like violence. And so, Mr. Wright, you decided you, you didn't want to ask the security guard to help? There was no security. The security was out. I didn't have any time. That I had to make an immediate decision because he was about to hit her. There's no doubt in my he mind. He was about, but he didn't hit her. He, 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 he was didn't. holding on to her, just like, and he was shaking her, and she, she was going like that. Is it possible you, had, you know, your, your alcohol could have gotten to you to make you believe? Ma'am, and, and you know what? I, the game started at 8 o'clock. I met him there at 8 o'clock. When I left that night, it was 8.35, and I had the credit card receipts to actually show the time that I left because I had to get out of there after this. They Mr. kicked Garcia, us all out of the did bar. Did you hit him first? Did you hit him first, Mr. No, Garcia? ma'am. Yes, ma'am, he did. No, yes. ma'am. He came over to our table so quick, tearing his shirt open. All I saw was a big oh, S in the Jesus. middle of his chest. 
I simply walked over and I said, man, I said, you know, leave her alone. Clark Kent off. here thought he was Superman all of a sudden that night, ma'am. He must have had a couple of shots or something. I don't know. Do you think had you not been being aggressive to that woman, you would not have Ma'am, I wasn't being aggressive. If I was being aggressive, <sighs> she'd have a report on me right now or something. I mean, there's Ms. nothing. Ms. Scott. She may have been afraid of you. No, ma'am. Ma if you were acting, hold on, Mr. Ma'am. Mr. Wright. If you act with her like you're acting today, I mean, she may be afraid of you. Oh, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. I, I don't, I, well, I was going to say I don't act like that towards women, but then again, here's uh, this. Oh, please. And there he goes again with the insults. Yeah. Ms. Scott, if, if she was not afraid of him, why is it when the trouble started, she ran out of the bar and we didn't see her again? Ma'am, it was because him and his group she of used monkeys that as jumped her all over the to get place out of there. and started this, this running woman everywhere press around the place. That's why. Did the lady press any charges? Did the lady call the police? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. She got. Did she leave the bar? She, she yes. She got afraid and ran out. She thought the clan was here. She was afraid was here. of you. She thought the clan was here with all their group. You know. I mean, oh yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Go there. They got to pick on the, the one little Mexican guy. He immediately, guy, one little Mexican he jumped guy out of the table. Four of them as soon as he jump jumped up me. from the table and the chair went, the glass hit. She was out the you door. You know what? She was out the door. Seems like to me you both were drunk. I wasn't drunk, Miss Scott. It seems like neither one can remember what happened. I, I, had, I remember I had a drink it, you both saying that the other started the fight. He did. He did. Evidently, you both had a problem. I was minding my own business. You said that Mr. Garcia <laughs> came in like he had already had drinks. And you, you still, I don't know how many drinks you had. My credit card receipt showed, showed, showed two. That doesn't mean two. the other. Somebody else that doesn't mean night. his cronies didn't buy the rest of the drinks, you know. True. They could have bought the cronies, rounds. It was my friends who behaved like gentlemen. Jumping on a poor little helpless guy. Oh, a poor little helpless guy that was holding. Just like that a poor helpless woman. I swear, one of, I swear one of them was slinging around. On one of them was pulling my hair when the other one stabbed me. I don't know. Oh, please, nobody stabbed you. So you don't know. You, you don't know. You don't have you any broke. evidence to that, ma'am. No evidence. Uh, do you have the knife with you? There was no knife. I guess I have no yeah, Again, that. one more time, if you weren't so drunk, maybe you would remember <laughs> breaking the glass on the floor. Oh, my God. I hit him. Yeah. The second time that I hit him, he goes falling on his butt like that, and he fell on the glass that he broke when he jumped up trying to be cool and throw in the chair and the uh, glass off the tray. Did you table. try to assist him? Did you try to help him? No, I didn't. When you were helping the female, now he's cut. Did you try to help him? I did not try to help him. Yeah, no, him, him, and his, him and his guys tried to help me down on the ground as then hard why as they could. If she was, if she was and, a scared of you, why did she run out of stuff, the bar man, as soon as I all never had a chance. She left. She left because you couldn't control yourself. Mediation is over. 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 Matt, escort him out, please. This is not a bar. Escort them out. Take your case to the court. Out. Mediation well, I hope is you're terminated. Happy. Nice, it's Rowdy. terminated. Yeah, Matt, whatever. get them out. I separate them, Matt. It's ridiculous. I'm the only one supposed to have an attitude. Nice going. Your boyfriend's out now. As a result of terminating this mediation, Mr. Wright and Mr. Garcia are still at odds with each other and have not settled this dispute in a legal matter. Mr. Garcia says that he's moved on from this situation, however, Mr. Wright would like to see legal ramifications enforced upon Mr. Garcia for his inappropriate behavior.